everybody welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new so in today's video I'm going to walk you through making a designer Louis Vuitton um, mini cardstock print and cut purse <laughs> that's a mouthful okay so this one's going to be pretty easy um, what I'm going to do is I went ahead and I have all the pattern everything is all set and all we're going to do is go ahead and print this together and then I'm going to walk you through how to put it together and then at the end I will tell you where you can find this uh, pattern and it's exactly um, it's all ready to go you don't have to do anything and I will go ahead and tell you at the end um, where you can get that so uh, Keep watching and go, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so to get started, um, I went ahead and when I did the print and cut, I did this part just on regular cardstock paper. I did it like on an ivory color cardstock paper. And then this I did on copy paper. I noticed that when I did this originally and I did the red for the inside of the purse, I did it on cardstock, it was more difficult to, um, to fold and it just, that didn't work too well. So what we're going to do first um, before we go ahead and hit make it is I'm going to select these two and I'm going to click uh, group. And that, what that does is that gets rid of um, those two images because we're going to go ahead and click on make it. And we're going to want to go ahead and cut just this because this member, this is going to be on cardstock and then the other one's on copy paper. So we're going to go ahead and hit continue, send to printer, and we're going to leave the bleed on and then we're going to hit print. Okay, so next we just need to click on medium cardstock and we're going to load the paper on the mat um, exactly to how this picture looks. And you're going to tape it, secure it, and we're going to load it into the Cricut. And the first tool we're going to use is going to be the scoring tool. And then it'll pop up after it scores. And it'll tell you, Cricut Design Space will tell you it's now time to put in the fine tool. And then that, that part will go ahead and cut it. So let's go ahead and do that. So we just finished scoring and cutting. And we're going to go back to Cricut Design Space and hit cancel cancel cut and cancel and we're going to go back here and we're going to go back over to the right where it says group and we're going to click on the little i and that will go ahead and in um, go ahead and it'll pop back up next we're going to go ahead and click on this and then we're going to click here to close it and let's go ahead and click there and click this so now we are going to hit make it and we're going to hit continue, send to printer. And remember, um, we're going to leave the bleed on and we're going to just print this on regular um, copy paper, just laser, regular printer paper. So let's go ahead and hit print. Okay, so now we will go back to Cricut Design Space and I'm going to go ahead and um, uncheck these so they're visible again and then um, remember I did not send this to the Cricut to cut we don't need to score this because it's uh, such thin paper we don't need a score so um, anyway what I did with this is I just cut it out by hand it was just easier and that's it so let's go ahead and get it together and put it together Okay. okay so these are the pieces that I have and um, so the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to use I'm going to use a glue stick and I'm going to glue the red um, to here so I because I want to have that um, a more authentic look with the purse so and I like having the little burgundy red um, inside Okay, so now we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to put some glue on here.
So here you can see some of the white on this side. So I am just going to cut any visible um, white of the copy paper off. And there's also a little cut here that um, Cricut cut, but on here I ended up not having it cut. Um, so I am just going to do it by hand with just a little bit of the scissors. I can do that. Um, you can see, and then I'm just going to go ahead and take a weeder and then just weed a little bit. That's all. So the next thing we want to do is grab the handles and we need to fold them on the score line in half. So it'll be just like this. Okay, so I'm just folding it in half. And I'm going to do the exact same thing with this one. This is folded in half. And then what I'm going to do is apply some glue just in this center right here, not the ends, and I'm going to glue it together. Fold it. And I'm just going to take a popsicle stick and whoops, just kind of press it together. Make sure it sticks. Okay, so it'll be just like this. And I'm going to do the exact same thing to the other side. So now we are going to take the, um, the two pieces of the purse and we are going to fold it on the score lines. Okay, so now we have these folded on the score line and I'm going to place these side by side. Okay, and we are going to apply glue here on the score line and then fold it over. Go ahead and add some glue. Line it up as best you can. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is do the exact same thing to this side. I'm going to add glue here and then close it and line it up that way. And you may want to arch it a little bit. Just make sure it lines up. Okay, so we have this so far. We're going to go ahead and glue one of the sides. And then we're going to place this in here, line it up, and then just, um, you know, apply a little pressure. Now I'm going to glue the opposite side. And then I'm going to line it up in here. And I'm just kind of pushing this against here and applying pressure. Now the last thing we have to do is apply glue back here on the bottom tab and then we're going to place that in there, line it up. Okay, I'm trying to move fast. Look at this, see. Line it up. And I'm just kind of pressing and you'll need to use the popsicle stick to push this in. Okay, so we have this so far, and I'm going to go ahead and add one of the straps, and I'm going to glue it like right here, 
and I'm going to apply it like where so it looks like so it looks like this like maybe just a, the tip right here is glued there okay so you'll have a tip like just a little tip that sticks above the purse you're going to do the exact same thing on this side okay now we are going to we can close this and do the other side so this little thing goes in here so it'll be like this so now we're going to go ahead do the other side so we're going to go ahead and do the other side so we're going to just put it right here make sure we try to line it up and I'm going to go ahead and do this side as well okay so this is the purse isn't this so cute and then it has the opening it has like the little red detail in in there and you can turn it around this is so cute you could put like little lip gloss in here like chapstick type flavored chapstick um, you could even I don't know stick a little roll up a little money in there little chocolates it's just so cute and I think it's perfect too like for a little girl's um, birthday party for a party favor or just for a girlfriend if you want to just give her a little cash or something it's just so cute so so I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial today um, I went ahead and I have this in my Cricut design space so I'm going to leave a link below where you can go ahead and click it'll take you directly to this uh, project and you can go ahead and create this project for free and as always thank you so much for watching and if you don't already subscribe and you like my channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the like button. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.